Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, June 21st? So, uh, it's been a while, and uh, the only way I really have any idea of what day it is, is by making a video, so I, pff, you've seen how well that works for me. I, I think it's still June. If it's not, then just say something in the comments. But I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Um, I decided with the War Factory today, I kind of wanted to brush up on classic op skills. So, number one, obviously a nice uh, smoked landing uh, to make sure that all of the things are safe. I did get a little rough on the smokes. There, there was some gapping there, but um, I, I was lucky or I was fortunate enough that it didn't really affect anything. Um, now, with this first opener, obviously you've got the smoking and the moving up and the doing other things. Also, keeping break from like just sprinting away from all of your troops and like almost having to do like two different sets of smokes, which is just absurd. Um, so, really a fan of, of this opening attack as far as just doing some of the basic things you're going to have to do in an op. Running around with brick, smoking your landing, and, and shocking some things and blowing some things up. Uh, now, with the, the cluster up here at the top, the opening shock set, I guess, you can get away with just two shocks. Make sure you flare all your Zookas onto that flamethrower because what's going to happen is they're going to flash kill the flamethrower and then they're going to turn their attention to all the other defenses. So uh, you can get away with the two shocks and then as you plow through those defenses, you're going to have to shift where your two shocks are going because obviously you're going to get closer to the machine guns and things are going to be a little different. But totally, totally doable, especially with the tribe boost giving nice cheap chocks. Uh, and then ultimately, like you're gonna, you're gonna work your way through that whole top there and start moving down towards the sniper towers. Really, at this point, it's just like it's 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 Zuka suicide. Just let them go in there, let them die, let them do whatever they do, they want. If they do take out a, an extra building or two, then hey, that's cool. That's more damage on the HQ, but not really necessary. Now, attack number two is. A little bit different so with attack number two what I was going for was really um, doing doing some sparkiness so obviously uh, the first shock launcher pretty easy you just have to land sparky in the right place you don't even need to use any flares if you've uh, staked sparky up there properly and now this is where things get interesting. I kind of wanted to do some like next level um, sparking. So I walked through an attack basically. So the shock launcher is getting killed. I was just like, and through the smoke we go because I don't care. And then once I got up onto the right hand side, I nailed the next shock launcher. Now what's really important in order to pull this off, you've got to do two, I guess, sparky slash re-smokes and then with this last one I, instead of using multiple flares to like move over towards that rocket launcher, I did the flare right onto the rocket launcher to do the remote control from the other side and you can see how you know she kind of moved through the defenses and then just waited for the smoke to go away so that the rocket launcher would die but uh, key absolutely key is your I guess spark control as when to and when not to use flares um, and, and of course, the re-smoking, which is 100%, 100 100%, totally key. Being able to re-spark, just, just so you can move around and take out those high hit point, high value uh, defenses. Now, that being said, the one thing I did not get a chance to really try in this attack that I would suggest if, you know, you're trying to just kind of do things like that, instead of flaring on the second shock launcher 
throw an artillery shell on it and let Sparky automatically, t like, get, you know, use the flare to get Sparky into range of the second shock launcher, and then throw the, the, the remote control, and it'll automatically pick the lowest hit point defense, which would be the shock launcher because of the artillery shot and blah blah blah. It's good. Uh, it, it's, it's a good skill to have. Very, very handy, especially if you've got, like, a cluster of, like, four rocket launchers, say. You could quad remote control a cluster of four and just wipe them right off the map in one smoke. You're gonna lose Sparky, but, like, hey, you know what, like, it's gonna happen. You, you just make do with it kind of a thing. Anyways... So, absolutely wonderful on the second attack. Uh, and then once all of the important things have been sparked away, you throw your Zookas over into the back corner, throw down some critters, make sure you keep the critters out of range of the lasers, and you just clear up the whole right-hand side, as you can see I have slowly been doing uh, as I rambled on about Sparky. Now, at this point... When I realized how just absolutely destroyed this entire map was on two Alzuka attacks, I was kind of tempted to just be like, let's do this, and just push right all the way through, uh, do, do like a full-on map clear, save the core kind of thing, but that would kind of go against what I was really trying to do, so I, I figured I'd, I'd keep true to myself and my plan and go for one last all Zooka run right across the... I, I guess at this point it's like the back of the base because everything else is dead. <laughs> um, so once again, fantastic excuse to practice that landing. Also, I realized on that first run through, I was throwing my smokes way, way too high up on uh, on the beach. So that second smoke uh, out of that landing right there, that's where you want your smokes to be. You almost want the widest part of the smoke to be right on the end of where your landing craft is. That way you're going to get the most out of uh, your landing, you're the most bang out of your smoke. I don't know what you want to call it. Anyways... Threw everybody over by the HQ, kicked off with a handful of shocks, and it's going to be a nice, easy win. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And above all else, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.